about how to load an ICF file into your ICOM 91 AD radio using the RS-91 software. First you'll need the cables and the software. And the first thing we want to do is plug the DB9 end into the back of your computer. And uh, the other end is just a, a little plug. You plug that into the data port on the radio. And uh, next thing we want to do is uh, turn the radio on. And then we're going to load the software and we want to click on the icon to load the software and what it'll do is it'll read the data off the radio and it takes a long time for it to do it but um, first thing we want to do then is we want to go to file and go to open a uh, box will come up and it'll say uh, we hadn't finished reading the radio yet. Do you want to continue? And you hit yeah or OK. Uh, menu will pop up. You select the file that you want to load, the ICF file. You hit that and you hit open. And it'll give you another message and say, do you want to save the changes that are on the radio now? Uh, and you just hit no. And then they'll give you another warning, wanting to make sure that you want to overwrite your radio with this new file. And you, you, if you do, you hit OK there. And once you hit OK, it'll start copying all those memory channels into your uh, radio. And uh, if they show up in yellow, that means it has not read that. It, had, it has not written that uh, data into the radio yet. And if you can just look at the screen a minute... It takes a while for it to read it. It's really slow. It's and so you have to. There it goes. It's reading it now. And as it and it, as it reads the information, it'll turn from yellow to white. And it takes a long time for it to go through all of those memory banks. Even if there's nothing in those banks, it's still in those channels. It still has to read all of that. For some reason, that when I load a new file, it tends to wipe out my memory names. So you go to the MR button and go to uh, show the, so it'll show your uh, call sign or your memory name on your screen. For some reason it wipes that out whenever you do this, but you can turn it back on with that little button there. And I'd give it a few minutes, uh, maybe three or four minutes, and after it's all done, just close it up, close the program, it's all finished, and uh, you're ready to go, and it's programmed. And the file should be in the radio.